Students, when we look at the different stages of mitosis, like interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase, we can see the different forms of genetic material. That is, we can see chromatin during interphase, and we can see chromosomes during, say, prophase, metaphase, and anaphase. Especially, we can see chromatids during anaphase and telophase. In latter stage of telophase, we can see chromatin again. So many students were asking me about, say, more clarification about the different forms of genetic material that is chromatin, chromosomes, and chromatids. So hello everyone, welcome to one more video of special biotonic, and today we'll be focusing on the chromatin, chromosomes, and chromatids. So students, the cell consists of an outer covering called cell membrane. The central part of the cell is occupied by nucleus, which is surrounded by cytoplasm. Now, this nucleus shows a covering called nuclear membrane, which enclose the fluid part called nucleoplasm. Genetic material is present in this nucleoplasm, and we can also see nucleolus which is nothing but the factory of ribosomes. So in nutshell, the cell consists of two parts, nucleus and cytoplasm. The genetic material in the nucleus shows different forms such as chromatin, chromosome and chromatids. Students, this is the diploid number of chromosomes present inside the somatic cells. As we know, we receive 23 pairs of chromosomes from either parents, 23 from father and 23 from mother. So the genetic constitution for male is 44 autosome plus XY, whereas the genetic constitution for female is 44 autosome plus XX. We know this very well. Now, this is the first form visible during interphase, which is chromatin. So what is a chromatin? It is long, thin, thread-like structure present during the interphase stage. Now, this chromatin condenses to form chromosomes. So students, we know that we receive half set of chromosomes from father and remaining half set from mother. So accordingly, we call them as maternal chromosomes and paternal chromosomes that is from mother and father respectively. So how do we define homologous chromosomes? The chromosomes which are morphologically similar and which carry similar genes on same locus. They are called as homologous chromosomes. Now these chromosomes splits during the metaphase stage. So we can see each chromosome with two arms. So students, arms of the same chromosomes are called cystochromatids, whereas the arms of the homologous chromosomes are called non-cystochromatids. Now, when we learn meiosis stages, these two terms are very important, that is dyad and tetrad. Now, these two terms are related to chromosomes only. Now, when homologous chromosome shows one one arm each, then it is called as dyad. So homologous chromosomes with one one arm is what called as dyad. When each chromosome splits into two arms, then in a homologous chromosome pair, we can see four arms. So homologous chromosomes with four arms is called as tetrad. Whereas homologous chromosomes with two arms is called dyad. So remember the word dyad and tetrad, which is very important to understand meiotic stages. So students to revise, we can see the chromatin during the interphase stage, which is long, thin, thread-like structures, which condenses to form the chromosomes during actual dividing phase, that is the prophase, metaphase, and anaphase. During anaphase, this chromosome splits to form the chromatids, which start going away from the center of the metaphase plate. And this chromatids start decondensing to form again the chromatins. 
so when we look at the cell cycle the genetic material also shows different forms such as chromatin chromosomes chromatids again chromatin depending on the phase of the cell cycle so to revise again and to summarize chromatins are visible during the interphase the chromosomes are visible during early stages of say karyokinesis in anaphase especially we can see the chromatids this chromatid start decondensing again to form chromatin so students i hope you are clear with the concept of chromatin chromosome and chromatids so stay home stay safe thank you